Wonderful pink and puce combination, Ashley. <gasps> TJ, your Valentine's Day bag. It's absolutely grotesque. Why, thank you, Miss Grokey. Are you sure you don't want to make a more romantic bag? I mean, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and others may not want to drop their cards into such a scary sack. It's okay, Miss Grokey. I don't really want any Valentines. <laughs> and I'm not giving any either. <laughs> Center, class! Center! TJ, are you sure? I'm positive, Miss Grokey. I'm not giving Valentine's on account of how I think this whole day is, well, goofy. <laughs> but TJ, won't you feel bad if everyone gives you a Valentine and you don't give any to anyone else? Um, nope. <laughs> Man, that's a guts, Teach. Real guts. It was nothing, guys. I have the courage of my convictions, is all. Well, I think you're positively mad. Valentine's Day is the most beautiful day of the year, touching the souls of young and old alike. It's the tradition that appeals to me. And once in a while, there's candy. He's got a point, Teach. Yeah, yeah, they got candy at Kelso's, too. And you don't have to give Mr. Kelso a valentine to get some. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hey, valentine! Whoa, they got sports valentines. And space valentines. And look at this. Peeny McChimp says, be mine, you big banana. What a selection! Can you believe these guys? Pathetic. Getting all excited over a bunch of dumb Valentine's Day cards. Hey, Spinelli! They got wrestling cards! What? Let me see those. You've got a headlock on my heart. These are sweet! Oh, look at this one! Say hey, TJ, what do you have? Strawberry frat, Mr. K. Extra syrup. Extra syrup? Something eating you, boy? Nah, it's just everybody's going gaga over those cheesy little valentines you're selling. No offense. You know, back in my day, we didn't buy valentines. You didn't? No, we made them ourselves, by hand. When you gave one of those puppies, you made your point, that's for sure. Made them by hand, eh? You know, Mr. K, you just gave me a great idea. I'm gonna make my point loud and clear. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your hair is smooth and silky, like a ball of cheese fondue. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. Man, I kill me. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Maybe later. <laughs> Normally, I don't open up a classroom early, TJ, but since it's for a good cause... It's for a good cause, all right. A real good cause. Well, you did it, Teach. You boycotted Valentine's Day. Did I, Vince? What are you talking about, man? As we speak, every girl in the fourth grade is opening a handmade Valentine yours true. TJ, you old softy. Not quite, Vince, my friend. You see, I use my cars to have a little holiday fun. Won't you be mine? A landmine, that is. Teach, you wrote joke cards. Cool. And when the girls read them, they'll see how dumb this whole Valentine's Day thing really is. Hi, TJ. Thanks for the card. It was really sweet of you. Oh, you're very... Did you say sweet? Of course. After what you said yesterday, no one thought they'd get a card from you. But I guess you made a special exception for me. Oh, TJ, I'm so flattered. Fla, fla, fla. Good morning, TJ. I got your card. Hey, swell. No hard feelings, huh? Hard feelings? As if. But I do have one question. When are you going to compare me to that summer's day? Um, next week? Till then, TJ. Vince, I, I think I'm in trouble. You better come up with one of your famous plans. This was one of my famous plans. Stupid, stupidly stupid, majorly stupidly stupid. Hmm, what's this? Handmade glitter? Like, interesting. Your voice bangs into my ears like a big honking goose that's singing its springtime guts out. Sincerely, you're like pal TJ? 
<sighs> like a high and stuff. Are these like the worst Valentines of all time or what? You are so right, Ashley's. By the way, I've been thinking maybe we've been too harsh on that TJ Detweiler boy. That's like totally weird because I've been thinking the same thing. <laughs> you guys are like mind readers. Maybe we should put his picture on our cork board of acceptable boys. Does anyone like have his picture? Either of you dork seen Detweiler? Nope. Well, if you do, tell him I need to talk to him about a certain Valentine. He's such a dear. Thanks, guys. I owe you. Yeah, yeah. Just get out of our hole before second recess. This is bad, Vince. Real bad. Every girl thinks I didn't give a Valentine to any girl but her. And since I went and made special handmade Valentines, they each think I did it just for them. And now if they figure out I gave the same Valentine to every other girl in the playground, they'll... they'll... Oh, man, I'm doomed. Not necessarily, Teach. I got a plan. All you gotta do is go up to every girl on the playground and say, Glad you like the card, but let's keep this between you and me, okay? And then wink to seal the deal. Wink to seal the deal. Right. Hey, how do you know all this stuff? My folks have got cable. Come on. It's dreamy. It's fantastic. It's TJ Detweiler. <sighs> oh, Ashley's, I'm so relieved you all find TJ acceptable because remember the stink he made about giving Valentine's? You're not going to believe this, but he made me the most adorable adorable handmade card. He used stickers, markers, and ready for this, glitter. But he made a glitter card for me and me. Mine's better. What are you talking about? Stop, 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 Ashley, stop. What are we doing fighting between ourselves? TJ Detweiler is the one who tricked us. That boy is toast and not the yummy French kind either. Glad you like the Valentine's Swinger, girl. But let's just keep this between you and me, okay? What about him? Him? Oh, he's okay. He knows all my innermost feelings. Attention, girls on the playground! Please report to the Ashley Clubhouse, like, immediately. The Ashley's want to talk to me. Gotta fly. Well, Vince, your little plan is working like a charm. Hey, man, from now on, just listen to the Vinster. My fellow girls, if you received a special one-of-a-kind to you only handmade valentine from a boy named T.J. Detweiler, you are not alone. We all got one. <gasps> he told me I was special. He told me to keep it between him and me. T.J. Detweiler's not only a total fake, he's a phony. And as punishment, we say, let's give him a makeover he'll never forget. Yeah! Hey. I wonder what those girls are talking about anyway. Got me. Okay, now all we gotta do is get back to the whole land. Hey, Teach! I've been looking all over for you, man. Oh, hey there, Spinelli. Listen, I gotta run. Wait a minute, Teach. I want to thank you for the special Valentine you gave me. I mean, you even dotted the eyes in Spinelli with little skulls. Yeah, well, let's just keep it between you and... There you are, TJ. I've been working in the science lab all day, and I just got a chance to open my cards, and oh, my, it's just... Beautiful. Hold on! You gave a card to Gretchen, too? Well, uh... Gee, here I thought you put a little extra elbow grease into mine. Sort of like I was, I don't know, the first string on your team? You are, Spinelli, you are! Well, then what about me, TJ? You're first string, too, Gretch. After all, a team is made up of many people. Isn't that right, Vince? I know nothing about these cards. Two-timing, handmade, card-giving little cheat. Over here, girls! Boys grow! It's a tie! What have you guys been playing? Hide from girls. Can we play? TJ tricked the girls with fake Valentine cards, and now they're planning to give him a makeover like a model. You mean like a male model? Nuh-uh. 
Oh, my dear friend. Well, it's been nice knowing you, Teach, but we gotta get out of here before the girls show up and trap us in here. <laughs> Too late. Loving this? Quite. TJ Detweiler! Come out of here, like, right now! Maybe if I can just wait this out, they'll forget the whole thing. My big brother says girls can stay mad for up to seven years. I can't stay in here for seven years. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? You could always apologize. It's a thought. Flash the boys! Flash the boys! Flash the boys! I come in peace. Where's Detweiler? He's the one we're after. TJ will be out in a moment. He just asked that you hear him out before grabbing him, holding him down, and putting junk all over his face. Wow. All right, girls, put away the lip gloss. You're up, Teach. Girls of Third Street. I, T.J. Detweiler, do hereby apologize for any hard feelings I may have caused, however accidental it might have been. For you see, even though I delivered the cards with the stain for the tradition, the fact is during that one little moment you opened your cards, I made you feel special. And for that, I am not sorry. Today you have helped me learn, as every boy must, that it is not right to toy with the feelings of others, be they girls, little kids, or animals. In this case, girls. And I promise never to do that again. Because the thing is, girls, you're all my friends, and you each deserve a real special Valentine. Well, they are like beautiful cards. And it is pretty nice that he gave one to every girl. Ah, oh, heck, Teach. We forgive you. Yeah! Oh, thank goodness you guys understand. I mean, I worked hard on those things. Cutting all the frilly stuff. Yeah! Putting on the glitter. Yeah! Writing all those great jokes. <laughs> you mean... These are like funny valentines? <laughs> Moisturize him! <laughs>